Hello guys, today we are going to talk about get request in Postman. So far, we have studied how a get request works in Swagger. And in this tutorial, let us learn how the same get request works in Postman. To begin with, let us briefly understand what Postman is. Postman is a great tool when trying to dissect the RESTful APIs. It offers a sleek user interface to make the HTTP request. And that too, without the hassle of writing a bunch of code, just to test an API's functionality. Postman started as a Chrome extension, but eventually it became very popular. And now it is a standalone desktop application. As we will explore Postman, you will realize that it provides a whole bunch of functionalities to test the APIs. And on top of it, it is very easy to get started with. All you have to do is to navigate to getpostman.com, download the application and install it. And you are ready to explore the APIs using Postman in no time. Simple, isn't it? Now, let's explore Postman. Once you start it up, this is what you will see. To write a get request in Postman, let us start by creating a collection. The concept of grouping request is called collections and each collection is displayed under the collection tab. So we start with clicking on this create a collection button and I name it API tests. Once done, I click on create button. So here we have a collection created for us. Next we are going to add a request to it. And to write a request, I will name it as get request for bookstore and I will save it to API tests. I'll close this particular suggestion and here we have the request created. And as we know in the swagger document that we had used before for the bookstore API, let us navigate that to first. This is the same API that we had checked in the swagger tutorial. And for this particular endpoint, we are going to copy the request URL for it. So here I copy the URL and I paste it in the request URL box, which is located right beside the get method. And while we have many other methods available under the method dropdown, I will choose to keep get as it is because that's what our endpoint is about get and the associated request URL. And next I click on the button send. Let us look at the status code. We have received 200 OK. Now different status codes have different meanings. And in this scenario, we have status 200 OK, which means that the endpoint is correct as well as the server was able to provide results for our request. We will have some more status codes later. The colorful text inside that box below is the response from the server. If you observe closely above the response box, you will see that body tab has been selected. Body means you have selected to view the response body which has been shown inside the box. In body, you will see three key options. Pretty, raw, preview. In the pretty tab, what we see is that the response is neatly formatted and it is very easy to read. Moving further to raw tab, what we see is that it is same as the pretty except that it has no colors as well as without any indentation. Lastly, we have the preview tab which is basically the tab rendering the preview of an HTML page. Some web servers return response in HTML format which makes it easy to be consumed in certain scenarios. This tab is helpful to view such responses. In our case, we don't have any such requirement and hence we see it in a raw format. To summarize this particular tutorial, we began with a brief outline of the Postman tool. Next, we set up our API test by creating a collection and adding an API GET request to it. What we did next was basically copied the same request URL which we used in Swagger document and pasted it in the request URL box that we had right besides the method. I hope you were able to connect the dots of our get request in Swagger tool with that in the postman.
थैंक यू